Dear children, let us continue the second page of the activity of arithmetic progression that is the third question here. The question number third we have to solve here. What is the third question? Write the first four terms of an AP given first term A and common difference D. Here the first term is given and common difference is given. What you have to find out? We have to find the first four terms. And how will you get the first four terms? First term will, is already given. That is nothing but A. A means first term. And D is the fixed number. What we have to add to get the next term. Here, if 4 is added to the first term, you will get the second term. Again, if 4 is added to the second term, you will get the third term. And again, if 4 is added to the third term, you will get fourth term. So, here you write the first term 3. First term 3. Next term 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4, 7. And third term is 7 plus 4. 7 plus 4 is 11. And next term is 11 plus 4, that is 15. So, which are the first four terms of an AP with the first term 3 and common difference 4 are 3, 7, 11, 15. Here you know that the common difference 7 minus 3 is 4, 11 minus 7 is 4 and 15 minus 11 is 4. Here 3, 7, 11, 15 are the four terms, first four terms of an AP with first term 3. 3 and common difference 4. Second one let us take. First term 9 and common difference D 0. Here A is 9 and D is 0. And as D is 0 means all the terms are same here. So the first term is 9. Second term is 9 plus 0. Again it is 9. Third term is again 9 plus 0, that is also 9. Fourth term is 9 plus 0, then also it is also 9. So, as 0 is the common difference, all the terms are same. So, the first four terms are 9, 9, 9, 9. Then you take the third one. Then the third question. Third one is... Here A is minus 4 and D is minus 5. Then the first term is minus 4. Minus 4 and minus 5 must be added to minus 4 to get the second term. So the sum of minus 4 and minus 5 is minus 9. If minus 5 is added to minus 4 as they are having same sign, we have to add and put the same sign. So, it is minus 9. Again, minus 9 add minus 5 to the minus 9. That becomes minus 14. Here, as d is minus 5, we have to add to the previous number to get the next number. Then, minus 14 minus 5. The sum of minus, here minus 5 is to be added to minus 14. If you add minus 5 to minus 14, what is the sum of minus 14 and minus 5? Sum of minus 14 and minus 5 is what? That is minus 19. Here, yeah. minus 4 plus minus 5 is minus 9. Minus 9 plus minus 5 is minus 14. Minus 14 plus minus 5 is minus 19. So, the first four terms are minus 4, minus 9, minus 14, minus 19. Here the first term is minus 4 and the common difference is minus 5. Next the fourth one. Minus 1, 1 by 2. Minus 1, 1 by 2. Here D is 1 by 2, A is minus 1. Then write the first term, minus 1. Then to get the second term, here the sum of 
minus 1 and plus half. So that is nothing but minus 1 plus 1 by 2 you will get the LCM is 2 that is minus 2 plus 1 you will get minus 1 by 2. So minus 1 plus 1 by 2 is minus 1 by 2. Then minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. So what is the sum of minus 1 by 2 and plus 1 by 2? You know that they cancels you will get 0. So the third term is 0. Here the sum of minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 is 0. Because d is 1 by 2 we have to add this d 1 by 2 to the previous term to get the next term. Then you add 1 by 2 to this 0. So you will get what? 1 by 2. So the first four terms are minus 1, minus 1 by 2, 0, 1 by 2. In the third main, there is a question fill in the blanks. So the first one is formula to find the nth term of an arithmetic progression is blank here. So what is the formula to find the nth term of an arithmetic progression? That is a n equals a plus n minus 1 into t where a is the first term and d is the common difference and a n is the nth term. So formula to find the nth term of an arithmetic progression is a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d. Next formula to find the sum to n terms of an arithmetic progression. Formula to find the sum to n terms of an arithmetic progression that is s equals n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. And what is n here? n is the number of terms and a is the first term and d is the common difference. When a, d and n are given, then the formula is s equals n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Or you can write s equals n by 2 into a plus l, where a is the first term and l is the last term. But here there is only one blank, so you write this only. Then the next is, Formula to find the sum to n terms of an arithmetic progression given first term a and last term a n. So formula to find the sum to n terms of an arithmetic progression when the first term and last term are given. So the formula is s equals n by 2 into a plus l and as l is a n you write a n s equals n by 2 into a plus a n generally it is because s equals what n by 2 into a plus l here a is the first term l is the last term here the last term is denoted as a n so you can write a n then fourth main question, fill in the blanks in the following table, given A is the first term and D the common difference and the nth term of AP is AN, A in the nth term. Here the first one you take, first term is given that is A, common difference D is to find out, then number of terms are given and the last term, the nth term is given that is 55. So you note down what are given here in the first question. You write first one a is given a equals 13 and n is given n equals 15 and a n equals a n equals 55. What you have to find out? Note down that that is d we have to find out 
common difference is to be find out. Then you write the formula for a n. What is the formula for the nth term or the general term? A n equals a plus n minus 1 into d. A n equals a plus n minus 1 into d. And a is given 13 plus n is 15 minus 1. d is to be find out. Write it as it is. That equals 55. Here a n is 55. So you write that is 13 plus 15 minus 1 into d equals 55. So you got 13 plus 14 d equals 55. Then 14 d equals you transfer this 13 to RHS. Then it becomes 55 minus 13. You write 55 minus 13 and 14 d equals 5 minus 3 is 2 and 5 minus 1 is 4. So you got 14 d equals 42. Here we have to find the value of d. So you transfer 14 to the RHS. It becomes 42 by 14. So you will get 14 ones are 14 threes are. So it is d equals 3. So what is the value of d? D is 3. Then the second one. Here the first term is not given. Common difference is given. That is minus 2. And n. The number of terms is given. That is 22. And a n is given. That is minus 39. Then you note down. What are given? In the second one. D is given, note down, that is minus 2. And N is given, N is 22. And AN is minus 39. What you have to find out? We have to find out A. You have to fill the column of first term. So you write A equals question mark. Again you write the same formula for AN. AN equals A plus n minus 1 into d so it is a n is minus 39 then you write minus 39 then here a is not given we have to find out so you write it a only plus n is given that is 22 22 minus 1 d is also given that is minus 2 so you write minus 2 equals minus 39 then it becomes a 22 minus 1 is 21 21 into 2 is 42 it is minus 42 22 minus 1 is 21 21 into minus 2 is minus 42 so it becomes a minus 42 it is a minus 42 equals minus 39 then you write a equals Transfer this minus 42 RHS minus 39 it becomes plus 42. Then A equals 42 minus 39. Minus 39 plus 42 is nothing but 42 minus 39 that is 3. You know that here 42 minus 39 is 3. So you got the value of A. So, in the first question, the common difference is 3. Here you write 3. In the second question, the first term is also 3. You got the numbers for the blanks. In the first question, the common difference you got. In the second question, A, A was not given. So, you got it. Next, the third question. So, what is given here? A is given. D is also given. And a n is given. What you have to find out? N we have to find out. N we have to find out. Note down. Then you write given A equals 12 and D is given D equals 4 and A n is given that is 56. A n equals 56. So what you have to find out? N we have to find out. N equals question mark. 
then the formula is a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d that is a n is given so you write it is 56 then a is given so you write in the place of a you write 12 then plus you write n is to be find out write it as n only n minus 1 d is given that is 4 so in the place of d you write 4 equals 56 then you write 12 as it is plus and here n into 4 is 4n and minus 1 into 4 is minus 4 equals 56 then 12 minus 4 12 minus 4 8 and 4n you write plus 4n the sum of these two that what 12 minus 4 is 8 and plus 4n you write that equals 56 then you transfer 8 to the RHS so you will get 4n equals 56 when 8 is transferred what you will get minus 8 then 4n equals 56 minus 8 is 48 you know that 48 plus 8 is 56 so 56 minus 8 is 48 then n equals 48 by 4 so 4 1s are 4 12s are then you got n equals 12 it is the value of n you got that is 12 so you write n equals here 12 that is the box here that is the blanks what you have to fill up next one is here a is given that is the first term a 4 and the common difference is given that is d minus 2 and n is given what you have to find out we have to find out an here an is not given we have to find out that is a blank for an so you write the question mark for an and what are given here the first term is given a that is a is 4 and d is also given d is minus 2 and n is also given that is 5 what you have to find out an an equals question mark then you write the formula for an an equals a plus n minus 1 into d here an is not given so we have to find out that equals an equals you write an is to be find out so you write it an only a a is 4 plus n is given that is 5 in the place of n you write 5 minus 1 d is given that is minus 2 so a n equals 4 5 minus 1 is 4 4 2 is 8 but here it is minus means it becomes 4 into minus 2 4 into minus 2 is minus 8 then it is a n equals 4 minus 8 4 minus 8 is 8 minus 4 is 4 but here 8 is greater that is having the negative sign so it is minus 4 a n minus a n equals minus 4 so what we have to fill in the blank that is minus 4 that is minus 4 and the fifth question what are given here the first term a is given that is 3 and common difference is given that is 2 and n is given that is the number of terms is given and again here we have to find out a n a n is to be find out so in the fifth question a is given note down that is 3 and d is also given note down that is 2 and n is given n equals 9 what you have to find out a n is to be find out a n is to be find out write the same formula for a n a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d here a n is to be find out write a one only and a is 3 in the place of a you write 3 plus in the place of n you write 9 because n equals 9 minus 1 
d is given that is 2 in the place of d you write 2 then a n equals 3 you write 3 only 9 minus 1 is 8 8 2 is a 8 2 is a 16 that is plus 16 9 minus 1 8 8 2 is a 16 so you will get a n equals 16 plus 3 16 plus 3 is 19 16 plus 3 is 19 so a n is 19 so fill in the blank that is a n is 19 this is the blank we have to fill up then the next question here we completed the fourth main next let us come to the fifth question what is that fifth question now the fifth question which term of an arithmetic progression 8 minus 4 minus 16 minus 28 is minus 880 here the given ap is 8 minus 4 minus 16 minus 28 and minus 880 is also the term of n that ap and here we have to find out it is which term so let us consider this is the nth term and also let us find the value of n so we write the given ap 8 so we write solution here the given ap is 8 minus 4 minus 16 minus 28 so on let us consider minus 88 is the minus 880 is the last term that is the nth term this ap is having let us consider this ap is having n terms and it is the nth term so you know that this is a1 a2 a3 a4 so on here we have considered this as a n then you write a a means a1 that is the first term 8 and d is second term minus first one first term that is a2 minus a1 a2 minus a1 that equals what a2 is minus 4 minus 8 the sum of these two minus 4 and minus 8 adds out it is 12 sum of 8 and 12 is 12 here both the numbers are having negative sign so it is minus 12 then let let a n equals minus 880 here we have taken this as nth term and next let us find out n so question mark is for n then you write the formula for a n a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d and here a n is taken we have considered this is 880 minus 880 and a is given you got it that is 8 plus you write and n we have to find out write it on n only n minus 1 d you got that is minus 12 minus 12 equals minus 880 then 8 then n into minus 12 n into minus 12 is minus 12 n and minus 1 into minus 12 is plus 12 that equals minus 880 then you take 8 plus 12 sum of 8 and 12 is 20 and minus 12 n you write minus 12 n equals minus 880 then you transfer 20 to the RHS it becomes minus 20 so you write minus 12 n equals minus 880 minus 20 and minus 12 n equals it becomes minus 880 minus 20 so you will get 900 900 so here it is 900 then n equals that is minus 900 minus 900 by minus 12 then try to divide it 900 by 12 and you know that 
ट्वेलव सेवेन जा एटी फोर सिक्स इज रिमेनिंग ट्वेलव फाइव जा सिक्सटी सो यू गॉट एन इक्व सेवेंटी फाइव एन इक्व सेवेंटी फाइव सो हियर ए एन इज वी हैव टेकन मैनस एट हंड्रेड एटी देर फोर इट इज अ सेवेंटी फिफ्थ टर्म देर फोर यू ट्राइट मैनस एट हंड्रेड एटी इज सेवेंटी फिफ्थ टर्म ऑफ गिवन ए पी गिवन ए पी वॉट इज द गिवन ए पी इट इज दट इज एट मैनस फोर मैनस सिक्सटीन मैनस ट्वेंटी एट दिस इज द सेवेंटी फिफ्थ टर्म नाउ दि फिफ्थ मेन सेकेंड वन वॉट इज दट क्वेश्चन सिक्सथ टर्म ऑफ एन अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन इज मैनस टेन एंड इट्स टेन्थ टर्म इज मैनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स फाइंड इट्स फिफ्टींथ टर्म सो यर वॉट आर गिवन ए सिक्स इज गिवन दट इज मैनस टेन एंड टेन्थ टर्म इज गिवन दट इज ए टेन ए टेन इज मैनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड वॉट यू टू फाइंड आउट ए फिफ्टीन इज टू बी फाइंड आउट नव यू टेक दिस वन ए सिक्स इक्वल्स ए प्लस फाइव डी दट इज द रिलेशन एमोंग ए डी एंड ए एन दट इक्वल्स वॉट माइनस टेन सो एक्सप्रेस इट एज ए इक्वल्स माइनस टेन माइनस फाइव डी नव यू कंसिडर दिस इज द फस्ट वन Express for you. Express a in terms of d. Then you take this one. A ten equals a ten means a plus nine d. Here a n is a plus n minus one into d. So a a six is a plus five d. A ten is a plus nine d. That equals what? Minus twenty six. Minus twenty six. That is nothing but A plus ninety equals minus twenty six. In the place of A, you write this one. That is from first you write. It becomes minus ten minus five d plus ninety equals minus twenty six. That is from first. Then you write minus ten as it is, and the Minus five d plus nine d. That is nine minus five. Nine minus five is four. So you write four d equals minus twenty six. That is nine minus five is four d. Nine minus five is four. So nine d minus five d is four d. Then four d equals minus twenty six. You would bring this minus ten to R H S. That becomes plus ten. Then you will get four d equals Minus ten plus ten, minus twenty six plus ten, minus twenty six plus ten. Twenty six minus ten is sixteen. Here these two are having different sign, so we have to subtract the smaller from the greater. So you have to subtract ten from twenty six. That is twenty six minus ten is sixteen, but the greater number minus twenty six is having negative sign, so you must put minus sixteen. Then d equals minus sixteen by four, so you will get what? That is minus four. What is the value of d? D you got minus four. And you must find the value of a. Why a is required? Because to find a fifteen, we have to use the formula a n equals a plus n minus one into d. So you need a. So by using this relation. And substituting the value of d in this relation, find d. So a is equals to what? A is equals to minus ten minus five d. Minus ten minus five d. That equals minus ten minus five into minus four. So you got minus ten minus five into minus four. That becomes plus five four is a twenty. So you got a equals twenty minus ten. 
the sum of minus 10 and 20 is 10. So you got a equals 10. Then you write the formula for a n. a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d. That is to find a 15. Before that you write here a equals 10 d equals minus 4 you got then a n equals a 15 equals question mark. So in the place of n that is 15. Then you write the formula for a n. a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d. What you have to find out a 15. Here in the place of n you write 15 because we have to find out a 15. Then a. What is the value of a? Value of a is 10. 10 plus n. n means 15. 15 minus 1. d. d is minus 4. Minus 4. Then you will get 10. 15 minus 1 is 14. 14 fours are. 14 fours are 56. Which 56 here? It is negative. Plus into minus C is minus. 15 minus 1 is 14. So it is 14 into minus 4. That equals 56 minus 56. So A15 equals 10 minus 56. It must be minus 56 plus 10. So we have to subtract as they are having different sign. It is 46 minus 46. We have to subtract 10 from 56. You will get 46. But the greater number is 56 which is having negative sign. So you must put the negative sign for the difference. So we see the 15th term. 15th term is minus 46. So you write 15th term is minus 46. 15th term is minus 46. The fifth main third question is find the 14th term of an arithmetic progression 10 minus 5 minus 20 so on. Take the solution here. Write the AP 10 minus 5 minus 20 so on. So this is A1, A2, A3 so on. We have to find out A14. So write A here. A means A1. That is 10. And D. D is A2 minus A1. A2 is minus 5 minus 10. Minus 5 minus 10 is minus 15. Here A2 is minus 5 minus A1 is 10. So it becomes minus 5 minus 10. And these two are having negative sign. We have to add and put the negative sign here. So it is minus 15. Then you take here what you have to find out. We have to find out a n equals a 14 equals question mark here in the place of n 14. That is n equals 14. Then you write the formula for a n. a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d a n a n is a 14 equals a is 10 plus n n is 14 minus 1 d d is minus 15 then a 14 equals 10 14 minus 1 13 13 into minus 15. You know that 15 3 is a 45. 15 1 is a 15 plus 4. 19. That is minus 195. Minus 195 plus 10. So we have to subtract here. That becomes 185. Minus 185. So A14 is minus 185. The 14th term of given AP is. Right. Therefore. 14th term of given AP is 
minus 185 minus 185 then the fifth mean fourth question find the number of terms in the arithmetic progression 6 3 0 minus 3 so on to minus 36 so you take down that ap solution you take 6 3 0 minus 3 so on minus 36 this is the given ap now this is a1 a2 a3 a4 so on let us consider it is the last term which is an so you take a equals the first term a1 6 and d equals a2 minus a1 a2 is 3 3 minus 6 equals minus 3 and an equals you take let because you have to consider this is the nth term so you write let an equals minus 36 what you have to find out here n find number of terms that is n equals question mark then you write the formula for an that is an equals a plus n minus 1 into d so an is what minus 36 you write minus 36 then in the place of a you write 6 a is 6 plus n we have to find out write n only minus 1 d is here minus 3 you got it that is minus 3 so you write minus 3 equals minus 36 then you write 6 as it is plus as it is you multiply so before writing plus you don't write this sign because here n into minus 3 becomes minus 3n and minus 1 into minus 3 is plus 3 equals minus 36 and the sum of 6 and 3 is 9 minus 3n equals minus 36 then it is minus 3n equals minus 36 minus 9 so minus 3n equals sum of these two you know that 36 plus 9 is 45 45 the both are having negative sign so the sum is also having negative sign so you write minus 45 then n equals minus 45 by minus 3 and 3 ones are 3 nines are so it is positive n equals 9 so the answer is here how many terms are there in a given ap in a given ap there are nine terms in a given ap there are nine terms therefore you write in a given ap in a given ap there are nine terms here the question is how many terms are there find the number of terms in the arithmetic progression 630 minus 3 minus 36 means we have to find out n so n you, we got now the fifth main fifth question the question is how many two digits numbers are divisible by 8 how many two digits numbers are divisible by 8 here the number must be divisible by 8 and it must be a two digit number so which is the first two digit number divisible by 8 that is 16 and next 24 and next 32 so on which is the last two digit number divisible by 8 that is 96 the last two digit number which is divisible by 8 is 96 how will you get this 96 here here you know that if 100 is divisible by 8 8 1 is 8 
2 then 8 2 is a 16 and you know that 12 8 is a 96 that is a 2 digit number divisible by 8 because 100 is the first 3 digit number next you take here consider this is a1 a2 a3 so on it is the last term a n here what you have to find out how many numbers how many numbers means we have to find n then you write a a is here first term that is a1 is 16 then d d is a2 minus a1 a2 is 24 minus 16 that is you will get 8 only because it is divisible by 8 and let a n equals 96 so we have to find out n n equals question mark then you write the formula for a n a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d that is we have taken 96 a n is 96 then in the place of a you write 16 a is 16 plus n we have to find out n minus 1 d is 8 equals 96 then you write 16 n into 8 is 8 n minus 1 into 8 is minus 8 equals 96 then 16 minus 8 16 minus 8 is 8 plus 8 10 equals 96 and you transfer this 96 to the RHS so what is remaining here 8 10 equals 96 minus 8 here 8 is transferred to the RHS then 8 10 equals 96 minus 8 is 88 because 88 plus 8 is 96 then n equals 88 by 8 8 ones are 8 11 are so n equals 11 you got so how many two digits numbers are divisible by 8 11 two digits numbers are divisible by 8 so right 11 2 digit numbers are 2 digits numbers are divisible by 8 11 2 digits numbers are divisible by 8